Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at global access to resources. This is part of Paper 2, Unit C, The Challenge of Resource Management. The Challenge of Resource Management focuses on the key resources needed for economic and social well-being, food, water and energy. When people struggle to access these resources, it has a big impact on their quality of life. Food provides our bodies with the fuel it needs to perform essential functions such as respiration, digestion and reproduction, as well as movement. On average, men need 2,500 calories per day and women 2,000. But this also varies depending on your occupation. For example, those who do physical work will need more calories. Water has a huge range of uses from drinking water to washing, growing and processing food, processing manufactured goods and cooling in energy production. Three quarters of water in the UK is used in industry and one fifth for domestic use, e.g. showering and bathing, flushing toilets, running dishwashers and washing machines, etc. The average person in the UK uses around 150 litres of water per day. Energy is used for all sorts, including transportation, heating and powering our homes and workplaces, powering machinery in agriculture and industry, and processing food. In the past, we have relied on fossil fuels for this, but we're now starting to move away from these and using more renewable resources. So we need to think about resource inequality because not everybody has the same amount of access to these different and really important resources. Population growth across the globe presents challenges in ensuring that everyone can access these resources that they need for a good quality of life. There is significant inequality in resource distribution and consumption globally. High income countries consume more food, water and energy than low income countries and newly emerging economies. But the demand for these resources is growing most quickly in LICs and NEEs due to population growth and economic development. Let's have a look at inequality in terms of food. In the UK, on average, we consume over 3,000 calories a day per person, despite men only needing 2,500 and women 2,000, whereas Sierra Leone has the world's lowest calorie intake of 1,500 calories. Calorie intake is affected by access to water, with many areas around the world having climates that make growing food challenging. Countries with low calorie intake also have the highest levels of undernourishment. Let's move on to water. The global water footprint is around 1,200 litres per day. This is the water that we use directly, along with the water that goes into producing all the food, goods and energy that we use on a daily basis. It takes 40 litres of water, for example, to make one slice of bread and 70 litres of water to produce one apple. But this figure is much higher in high income countries. For example, the USA's water footprint is double this at almost two and a half thousand litres. But we also need to consider water scarcity. This is when there isn't enough water to meet the demand, either because supplies are insufficient, which is physical water scarcity, so for example there's not enough rainfall, or infrastructure is inadequate. This is what we call economic water scarcity, so e.g. the country can't afford a decent pipe network. Finally, let's consider energy inequality. HICs use much more energy than LICs and NEEs. This is because the most developed countries have the highest levels of technology and intensive agriculture and industry, which all require power, along with domestic use and transportation. However, the demand for energy is increasing most rapidly in newly emerging economies as they develop. China consumes the greatest amount of energy in the world, over 8,000 terawatt hours, with the USA in second place with around 4,000 terawatt hours. But if we consider this per capita, i.e. per person, Iceland, Qatar and Singapore all have the highest energy consumption. That concludes this Tutor to You topic video focusing on global access to resources. Thank you for watching.